Hello, friends from the comic and manga world. My name is Hector. And my name is G. And we're here to talk to you about our picks for the June 3rd, 2024 FOC that is coming right up. Uh, G and I work for Penguin Random House, so the titles that we talk about in these videos are from the publishers that we represent into the direct market around the world. Also note that we're on social media. We You can find us on Facebook, X, Twitter, and Instagram, and YouTube under at PRH International Comics. So make sure to follow us, like subscribe do all the first stuff also send us comments let us know what you like what are your picks we really want to know so uh without further ado let's get started first off is one of my picks this is canto a place like home number two covers c one in ten the francesco francavilla uh variant and canto canto is back of course and but and now on Dark Horse, and also, if you don't know, uh, the um, original, the other three series from Kanto are now available on hardcover. Um, so you can get those through, through Penguin Around the House from Dark Horse. But uh, let's talk about this cover. I mean, the, the covers for Kanto have always been amazing, but um, the so that hasn't changed at all. Um, and this one is no exception. I really love, I love Francesco Suarez work. Of course, he's a veteran that's done work all over the place. Marvel DC, uh, does a lot of work with IW and, uh, Dark Horse and other publishers. But, uh, in this case, doing this variant, you know, you see Kanto sort of trying to, with his axe, just, I guess, fighting to get out of, uh, tangled up with this creature or it looks like a sort of a ghostly creature with a rope uh, tangling uh, him. I love the colors. I love the the texture that uh, Francesco always puts on his um, art. I mean, he's an amazing artist, um, Italian artist. And uh, yeah, he has a lot of fans. So I'm sure this one is going to fly off the shelves for sure. Next stop. All right, and I chose Deadpool issue number four. This is the Jen uh, Basil Dua Stormbreakers variant. And this goes on sale in July ahead of the movie release for Deadpool's return to the big screen with Wolverine. Mm -hmm. And so we have both of them on the, this cover here. Yeah. Um, this is a fun romp of a story by Cody Ziegler. And I love the cover a lot because it's like a very over the top, almost mm -hmm. like Food Wars esque. Yeah. yeah, I could see this on Food Wars because yeah, the way that is <laughs> the way it's <laughs> illustrated. <laughs> yeah, it's so I love it so much. Uh, it's really on. It's serious but unserious at the same time, and I very yeah. much dig it. The covers of these have been very consistently good so far. And so this is no exception. So yeah, my pick for this week. Yeah, it's a very odd couple uh, look. Obviously, very cool. Next is Spider-Man Reign number two. Uh, Spider-Man Reign two. This is the number one issue by uh, by Leslie Lyrics Lee. Uh, this is a one in twenty-five variant ratio variant, and uh, I love uh, lyrics. Uh, art i was lucky enough to meet her at a con a couple of cons she's part of the Argem group uh and this is such cool art uh you can see in the background the spider-man from from this uh story the from the future the bearded uh spider-man sort of peeking on it's like, like who the heck is this and this is the new black cat so um yeah, there's a lot of anticipation for this series continuation, obviously, of the original uh, Spider-Man Reign by Gary Andrews, who's also doing the, the writing and the illustration on this. Um, and the covers are all amazing. There's like Scotty Young that I almost picked with the spider bearded Spider-Man with a walker, sort of hanging from a, from a web with a walker. So check that one out too. But this one, you know, uh, definitely my favorite for this issue. So I had to pick it. Very cool. 
I love the attitude and the yeah. wink and yeah. the added and the little star sparkles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. Okay, and yeah, you know, I, I think we're pretty much all, all picking up <laughs> Ultimate Spider Man because uh, yeah. it's so good. It's very, very good. This is issue number seven. Diwali, great artist, uh, variant cover. This is a one in 25. Uh, this cover spoke to me because I love the focus of uh, Ben Parker at the forefront. Yeah. Also, like, like clearly obsessing over <laughs> Spider-Man and Green Goblin. And it seems to be <laughs> that Peter's still working at the Daily Bugle because there's photos of um, there's a newspaper of the Daily Bugle on the table there. And I, I really like the fact that I don't know. <laughs> I just it made me happy thinking about this because it looks like Ben specifically took out a red marker to doodle <laughs> I don't, on his note on his little notepad. There's a doodle of Spider-Man <laughs> on yeah. his notepad. <laughs> I just love that little detail. Yeah. So it's just it's a great the the way that the colors here to like set the mood of mm. the of the of the art very beautifully done so yeah yes awesome next we continue with teenage mutant ninja turtles 40th anniversary comic celebration variant this is a retail incentive one in 50 and the art of this cover is by dave wachter uh, this book is, uh, of course, because of the anniversary, we're getting a lot of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, and this is an anthology with um, lots of creators involved doing a lot of stories, um, new stories uh, honoring, you know, the legacy of the 40 years of the Turtles, and obviously uh, Kevin Inspan and Peter Larry there are involved in this too, but you will see. Um, Creators including Jim Lawson, Tristan Jones, Paul Harmon, Rhonda Parkinson, Pablo Tunica, Tom Watts, Michael Dionlinus, Tyro Nail, Nayeli, Lloyd Goldfield. I mean, there's so many. I'm not going to be able to say them all. But um, so this is an extra thick book. It's uh, $11.99 cover price. So it's the book itself is something uh, definitely for fans of TMNT to celebrate the 40th anniversary. And this cover, I mean, it has uh, several covers for this book. And of course, it's beautiful by Dev Wachner, who's, um, you know, also a veteran and in the industry. He's worked with Marvel. He's done a lot of, uh, I remember some stuff he did for Iron Fist and some of the other Marvel stuff, but he has also done a lot of stuff for IDW, especially he's done a lot of work with Godzilla, not just covers, but also interior uh, illustrations. So he's been around for a while. Um, so definitely check out David Walkner's uh, art and this one where it shows it's such a, a such a sci-fi, no, it's such a fantasy sort of novel type of poster or fantasy movie poster and i love how obviously the turtles are front and center and you see all the characters in the background sort of blended in um and i hope i i i love how even though it's a white background there's so much color and so much that you can get from this um this piece of art it's very beautiful definitely i love looking into i i just realized there's a, a couple of characters that i didn't see before so yeah Got to take a closer look at it. Excellent. Okay. Uh, next up, Kill All Immortals, issue number yeah. one. And uh, one of my faves. Such our a nice, friend. Our friend. Our we friend. Think it, we we nice think of person. him as our friend, even though we yeah. just met him a couple <laughs> times. <laughs> Vincenzo Riccardi. Oh, such a nice person. Uh, mm -hmm. It just, if you ever get to meet him in person, wonderful. Yeah. Uh, to to talk to and this cover very beautiful in itself but also the premise is quite interesting um, for me so I wanted to pick it up for that too um, a viking explorer years ago named years of, <laughs> I'm talking about thousands of years ago yeah named Eric the Red and his four children discovered the source of immortality 
and now um, moving forward in time to the modern world, they are a billionaire family. They have a very successful, very powerful banking empire. And his daughter, Frey, speak, seeks freedom from her family's influence. And in order to do that, has must be prepared to reveal uh, their supernatural secrets in the process. And she has to confront um, her highly trained uh, siblings as they battle it out, struggle for power. Um, they liken this, uh, Dark Horse likens this to uh, Succession meets John Wick, both of which sounds very interesting and intriguing yeah. to me. And so, uh, yes, and a beautiful cover to boot as well. So, yes. Very cool. And then uh, the next the one. News. I, yeah. News. I'm very particularly uh interested <laughs> interested in this one uh seven seas uh announced that they're releasing a deluxe hardcover edition uh of heaven's official blessing volume one and this one will have metallic foiling on a cloth hardbound uh edition of this and we'll have a dust jacket with all new art They'll have printed edges as well and a cloth bookmark. So they're going to go all out with this as they should. Yeah. <laughs> and I say this as a fan because I yeah. think uh, a lot of other fans aside from me would love the treatment as being made on this. And if you don't know anything about the story itself, I did want to talk about this. So we have the main character, uh, Shi Lian who ascended to godhood with, with a rise to godhood. There is undoubtedly a fall sometimes, <laughs> a rise and fall, which happens multiple times with um, Shi Lian, who is cast from heavens and ascended back to heaven three times, which is unheard of, the fact that he's able to do that. Um, so he's basically like the problem godchild in the, in, and during that process of, of, being a problematic child <laughs> uh he angers a lot of other gods in the process and so to repay the debts that he has um and like in the god world it's um you need to have followers to worship you to help pay your debt and so he's uh he goes he's sent to the mortal realm uh to repay his debts like i said to hunt down troublemaking ghosts and spirits. And so during his travels, he meets this mysterious man who, of course, is very good looking, <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, uh, named San Sanlan. And yes, the story continues from there. Really yeah. fun. Uh, if you like the, like the, the, I love like the uh, political machinations too because you have to yeah. really uh you have to get into that when you're talking about how the gods are connected with each other um what they're mortal you know before gods ascend they used to be mortals at some point so how what their status was back then how they ascended such an interesting um world building that yep. is done here that I find very interesting. And so um, yeah. this is definitely a title for those, those folks who, who love that I, kind of thing. And I, and I also, just so you know, also for fans of, um, you know, sort of uh, crime or investigation dramas, like I, it gives me a little bit of vibes of, of Apothecary Diaries because they, they, they are on a hunt to sort of, finding uh solve a mystery and find some clues and they go follow some clues to find a uh, sort of a mystery it's not like a crime uh it's you know it says crime but it's more like mystery and kind of follow some clues into find out um you know uncover some mysteries is what i meant to say but also has that that whole um sort of historical mythological 
feel to it for uh, Chinese mythology and 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 history. Um, so that's why I also compare it to Apothecary Diaries because if you're a fan of Apothecary Diaries, you might be a, become a fan of this too as you're reading and and the characters, and it has a great balance of seriousness and silliness in it, in it which I really love. I love how uh, when a, a story has a great balance between those two, and this one does. So, mm -hmm. yep. And that's it. Sorry, I forgot it was me. Uh, thank you so much for watching. It was, well, we hope it was useful and you enjoyed it. And uh, we in, want to invite you to come back and watch more. We post videos on our YouTube channel uh, every week. And uh, aside from this FOC picks, we also have uh, other videos. So go, go check them out. And also, like I mentioned before, we're on social media. We're on Instagram. We're on X, Twitter, and we're on Facebook under at PRH Comics, at PRH International Comics. Sorry, I always forget the international. But we'll leave some links in the description for you in case um, you, uh, you need those. Um, thank you so much, and we hope you come back. Take care.